further is about 1.5 million, 1 million. So that's more expensive. Yeah. Yeah. This is for hunting. Yes, this is for hunting. Safety lag. Double barrel shotgun. Safety lag. New ejector. New ejector. Big shot. I have a big deal. 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 I have Starting from right side or sometimes we start from left side. It's on you, it depends on the trigger. They have two triggers. Uh, this is where I manufacture them. Yeah. Drill press. Mm -hmm. See, you have, a, you have a CNC machine here. Uh, Can I, I can touch this? Yes. So this is all illegal thing. Yeah, this is from the government. Let's move it out. This is uh, And you, you make yourself, right? Most of it. Yes. And also you have uh, employees who work for you. Mm -hmm. Only you. Mm -hmm. You do everything. Yeah, they have a lot of. Workers here. <laughs> yeah, and also no patients. They take uh, six months on manufacturing one rifle. And how much do they sell for? 1.5 million, 1 million. Ooh. These are all very capable hunting rifles. What is this? This is a hunting rifle here. Yeah, this is also a 12 caliber for defense purpose. All the machining room. Ah. Big lathe. Ah, <laughs> Surfacing. Okay, so some parts for, for wood. Oh. Ah, yeah, for cutting the wood. Yeah, wood. Yeah, wood. Yeah, wood. Yeah, wood. Yeah, wood. Yeah, wood. Yeah. Like, have a... Same to same. This is a CNC. Well, this is a hand one. Yeah. Okay. They, they put one there and the other one is here. So they. Oh, it's all it around. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's so like mimic. The first stage of the gun. It is in a start key. Yes, they use starting gun from this part and this part. You made Here's this one. Hand and grab. Yeah. Whoa. Beautiful. This is your masterpiece. Yes. Is this a favorite one you've made? It does. That one, the whole house. You want to have special duties, like uh, writing this English. Yeah, of course. That's the most. Yeah, it's that should be yeah, like an a specific export for floors and lines. Another special export. Yeah. For everything, uh, they have special for, for the wood, for this thing yeah. of the wood, and another special yeah. expert. And that were the hand seven inch experts. To and this is also totally handmade. The wood. Handmade. Wood. Every wood. step. And you can just change out the all these handles. Change key, get up a day one. Wow. That was the Or two. You just uh, open these two screws. This this is Pakistani timber. Pakistani. Pakistani. <laughs> but uh, the raw uh, steel and raw aluminium alloys we purchase from different countries like UK, Russia. Okay, and some raw material. Zaitun to English special with that. And it's hand carved. Yes. 18. Oh, the router. They make the weapon here. This is the standard uh, for Olympics or anything in target shooting. So uh, for precision. Yeah, for precision. Uh, uh, yeah. 
This is the pistol he made uh, 10 years before and uh, bring it back for recoloring. This is also totally hand work, uh, hand engraving. You know, it's a uh, same shotgun, twelve caliber. Yeah, it's auto. Shotgun. Yeah, it's auto, and it's semi-auto. In auto, you press just and fire all rounds in a burst. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, it's a shotgun. Yeah, it's a shotgun. Well, it's semi-auto. It's Brr. you need to fire for uh, press trigger for. Uh, what type of weapon is this? What's this called? Yeah, it's for defense, for security. Is there a model, model type? Uh, yeah, it's their own design. Okay. Yeah. They design everything uh, at their own. Every hole and everything uh, manually. Manually. Yeah. So this one's just traced, <laughs> traced in the milling machine with the real copy beside it. You work how many hours a day here? We make a lot of things. This is the fire pen. Okay, when the, the trigger fire, it hit here and this part, fire pen go to the Hits bullet. the back of the bullet. Yeah. It's fixed like this. Okay, so if you have only this part of flashing, you can fire okay. already. Okay. It will work. Yeah. Like if you don't have this part also, so it will work. Mm -hmm. So this is the uh, beauty of AK-47 design. So if you have half rifle and half knot, so you can use it. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So you'd say the AK-47 is the most reliable rifle? Yes, for and the Gorilla Warrior. And the most you, common. If you don't have a proper uh, maintenance system and you are living in jungles or these kind of areas, <laughs> so it's better. It's close. <laughs> Ready for action. Ready for action. <laughs> This is oh, so yeah. Cute. It's for ladies' purse. Ah, okay. Normally, ladies ah, so carry this. Can we buy this one? <laughs> yeah, sure. But you will be cut on border crossing. <laughs> yes. Very expensive. Yeah, it's a Glock uh, 26 uh, Glock generation 26. four. Wow. It's have ten rounds, nine mm. How much do they? How much are these in Pakistan? Uh, it's uh, about thirty thousand. Yeah. Thirty thousand rupees. Yes. For what else have we got here for sale? Yes, and this is uh, Glock 19. Is it? This is what the American police use. Yes, is this uh, American police use this Glock 19, and this is Glock 17. It's a little bit bigger, the barrel size, and uh, it's good, but it's. Too big for concealed carry. Yeah. Mm. Mm, this one. Yeah, this same block, uh, generation four. This is the 30 caliber. Is that that's quite large for a pistol? This is the most reliable pistol, like AK-47, and it's uh, Chinese use it and Russian militaries use it as TT. It's same like uh, you can say the 1911 pistol. Mm -hmm. who, uh, who designed this one? Uh, basically, it's designed in Second World War, but it's still uh, people like it. Uh -huh. okay. Who's it um, designed by? Uh, Russia. R Russian? Uh, yeah. The copy of Turkey, the SAS. Wow. That yes. looks nice also. Yes, Zegana Sports. Sports gun. A sports gun. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> for uh, basically it's used in Olympics for uh, competitions. Oh. Yeah. It's like Ferrari of a gun. Mm. 
like sometimes we use the the uh, trigger function from Glock, the fire pin from Turkey Design, and we mix up it uh, and make it more reliable. Like uh, if we like the trigger function of one country made pistol yeah. and another function uh, slides from another. So we sit you together. Customize your own. Yeah, we customize it and make it our own yeah. design. Yeah. Hey, so hey. from from that age or a little bit, uh, they start more, learning. They start learning and they can shoot a pistol. Mm -hmm. wow. So he can fire. You can fire accurately. He can yeah, fire some guns accurately. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ah. So you guys train them already since Yeah, from a childhood. Yeah. Another uh, chemical, uh, I don't know what his name, uh, maybe it's arsenic trioxide, something like this. It's like an acid, some type of acid. Yeah, uh, and nitric acid. Nitric so acid. They put a solution, uh, like a solution from these chemicals, yep. and then they rub it on this. Yeah. Rub it. It takes one bead to color. And it itches it black. Yeah, it's, it's called itching. It's black. Where is the oldest technique? You can say, uh, it's the, uh, like you can say, 17th century technique for coloring a rifle. So then you want to color the mother of the Ugana? Yoga. Which is Sal Busiraj who under two is in Chui. Okay. Bia Safa Gubia, Bia Safa Gubia, Bia Safa Gubia. They put the solution on that at night. So mm -hmm. when they arrive at uh, uh, morning, it will totally like uh, it's, you can say, rusted. Like yeah. a zinc oxide on it's blackened. Yeah. So then they clean it again and again, put it this chemical on it. Then they can uh, other day. So other day it was again uh, rusted and uh, like uh, full of uh, covered with uh, zinc oxide. So they again clean the zinc oxide from the lower side and again put the chemical. So it takes one week to color it up. Yeah. Is it called blackening? Yeah, blackening. And it's a, is that a handmade so that's a muzzle brake? Yeah. The is a giant Ah, the system. Ah, the the Make the barrels uh, twice, okay? Then they fix it like uh, accurate size. They put a special kind of metal inside and heat it very slowly. So uh, mm -hmm. it's melt, uh, but uh, it's still in solid state and it's giant. Mm -hmm. So they don't use uh, welding in this. They use uh, that special technique yeah, heat making uh, for jointing this. Wow. Heat fitting. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, then they make uh, the remor, it's 18 millimeter. So they okay. use one of it. The reaming, they use a reamer. Yeah, this is like a little bit of a brush, it's a little bit of a dye. It's completed till uh, before two inches from the uh, finish of the barrel. Yeah. So then they polished inside and it was 18.5, fixed 18.5 mm, the barrel. Bang on. What, yeah. what, to what tolerance? Uh. To what tolerance? Like within, within how many? Like one hundredth of a millimeter. What's the? Uh, it was like uh, 0.1 mm. 0.1 mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, what percent? 41 or uh, 46 the standard is? 46, okay. Yeah. This is called 41, 46 uh, standard and it's uh, from UK. So from basically, yeah, they don't know how exact the specification but it's 41, 46. It's okay. So they go, is there a um, special type of steel that falls? This is the side lock for hunting rifle. A side lock. No, I said. No, I think it is. Wow. With a raw piece. He's under pressure now. He's right. He's right. He's right. He's right. He's right.
Shahab just showing us around. Shahab Ali. Shahab Ali. Yeah. Time to leave. Thank you. I can't wait to one day. We're the Brita one now. Oh, they're actually working down on this one. And sleeping. Got a man on the land. <laughs> Pistol, it's like a rough. Yeah, and there's uh, a lower. Yeah. That was a Britta. Yeah. He's making this. So they've got the top, what do you call that top section? Yeah, the top section is like, it's made of steel. The lower uh, section is from aluminium alloy. Wow. And this is nearly, like the, the bottom section is basically finished here. Yeah, it's finished. Now the upper one is there finishing. Ah, okay.